Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a little bit of a different view. This is actually my vanity. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can see the mess off to the sides. There is a mirror up here. That's me holding my tripod. Um, but this is where I actually put all the stuff from my makeup basket into my vanity. This is, I guess you could say like a makeup drawer. Um, and this is where I actually do my makeup every morning. I have my mirror there, but I only use that for my hair and then a, a standing mirror here. And then I have a little section there that's like a graveyard. That's where all the stuff I don't use goes. A lot of people are like, oh, do you use everything from your makeup basket? The answer is no. Uh, sometimes I'll use something once and then it's like, you know, it goes back into my drawers and I don't really get to use it. So what I'm going to do this week is kind of go through my makeup and pick my makeup basket out of the makeup that I've already picked for makeup baskets this past month while well, in September but haven't used a lot of stuff. So starting off with my face, sorry, I'm just trying to situate myself here. Um, I also keep my beauty blender in here because I don't want it out in the open collecting dust. I don't know why, but I don't. Um, trying to think of things I haven't really used. I have been using this, so I'll take that out. I always use my Laura Mercier. Um, this is a powder I've been trying to use. So I think I'm gonna stick that there and decide later. Oh my god, guys, if you could see a close-up of this, it's, like, ridiculous. There's so much dog hair, it's gross. <laughs> but yeah, so I always use this. I picked this maybe last week. I don't even remember, but I didn't really use it. I always use this whenever I pick it. I absolutely love it, but I like to have, like, a lighter BB cream. But you know what? I'm going to take it out because I do use that every time I use it. Um, where did this little Dior thing go. I have this Kola um, mineral sunscreen tinted moisturizer. So I think I'm gonna use these two. I have like a little Dior, oh, it's right here. A Dior Hydra Life BB cream. So I'm gonna keep these in here and try and use those. Um, I've been using my Benefit Professional a lot. So I haven't used either one of these in a while. I think I'll go ahead and use the baby skin and um, give that guy a chance. Give it a chance. As far as concealers, um, I'm gonna keep my MAC one in here because I haven't used it much, and I do need to get another one. I'm gonna throw in my Instant Age Row. Actually, this brightener has been coming out really ashy and gray on me, so I am gonna put it in here and test it out. I don't know if it went bad or if it's just my coloring, but it's been looking really ashy and gray, which is not a good look. So I'm gonna throw that in there and see how it works. And if it's gross, then um, I'll replace it with this one, which is in Neutralizer, which is definitely more yellow and helps a lot more. I have been using these guys, but I haven't used my Hourglass Ambient Powder. This is in Radiant Light, and I'm pretty, you know, I'm not pale, but I'm not tan by any means. So this actually can work as like a semi-bronzer. Not really a bronzer, but it definitely warms up my complexion. So I can use this um, as that. So I'll keep that as my bronzer. I'm going to take out the Naked Flush. Uh, that's the bronzer highlight and blush. And I've been using that like every day. Um, I've also been using my Wet n Wild Fergie Setting Powder. Uh, this is just the Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. I hit pan on that. You guys can see I'm excited. So I'm going to keep that just because I hit pan and that makes it awesome. I have my City Color B Matte Blush in Melon, and Fresh Melon. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I haven't used this. So I'm going to leave that there. My Cindy Luminizer. I only used once. Um, I haven't used the City Beats at all this week and or this past week. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to take out this guy, my physician's formula, because I have used that a few times. And like I said, just this poor professional Agent Zero Shine. This is like a setting powder kind of also. Um, so I'll keep that in there. I have been using my Naked 2. Um, I'll come back to the eyeshadows. There's always so much. Actually, let's just go ahead and use it now. I haven't been using this primer at all. I don't even know if it's still good. I'm going to put that in there and try that out. Uh, so this is the eye primer Avon that I've been using. These are some color tattoos, inked in pink. I think this is audacious. Yep, audacious asphalt. It's just like a nice gray color. And this is Cherie Marie, beautiful orangey color. I haven't used that. I think I used it once. Um, so I think I will keep those. And then pulling some of this stuff out. 
what is in here? I also just keep this Smashbox palette here because it's so big and it doesn't really fit anywhere. So I think I'm gonna keep it out and use it. Every time I use it, I use these three colors. Oh, you can't even see. I use these three colors, that like matte cream color and this gorgeous like orangey color. So I think I'm gonna keep this out and try to venture out to like some of these um, blues and bronzy kind of different colors. Then there's like greens. I also keep my Stila uh, foil finish out also because that thing's expensive and I just want to remember that I have it I don't really have a place for it where I can remember um, These are in my last makeup basket. I didn't use either of these makeup forever singles that I got uh, And on e diff swaps. So I'm gonna leave these out I haven't used this gosh, but I really doubt I'm gonna have the time to use like a blue or green eyeshadow uh, The time to play around. I think I will leave my naked too here um, I have been using Pistol Verve and Snake Bite, and then you know the crease color and some of the lighter colors, but that's really it. Hi guys. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and branch out to like some of these goldier colors, which will look really nice with like Cherie Marie and even that inked and pink. So I'm gonna leave that. I have not used this Cella Bra Bone at all. Um, that's my my Clinique lower lash mascara. Uh, my brow gel. I'm gonna leave that. I haven't used this Jordana base at all in Continuous Almond. Um, I have used this guy a bunch, but I do like it. So, I'm, But I haven't used it in like forever, it feels, this by Stila, sorry. This is Moray, beautiful, beautiful liner. So I'm going to leave this out and use that also. Um, I've been addicted to this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So I'm just going to, I know I'm going to leave it out. I'm trying to finish it up actually. And I love it. And I really, because of that, haven't been using much of this. I've been using this Urban Decay with my Rimmel. So I'm going to use that uh, with this Tarte Lights Camera Flashes and use that as a combo. And let me see these guys. All right. So this is my YSL. I've been using that a lot. I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to leave the Covet Waterproof Eyeliner by Anastasia. This came in one of the palettes I got. I think the Lavish palette. So I'm going to leave those. So that's all my eye stuff. Okay, so let's finish off with nails and lips. And I did just want to show you, I'm going to be using my Lorac Brow Pencil. And ugh, this is in Brunette. I was going to say it is so rubbed off, but this is what it looks like. I've had this for a while. And I'm using that. Now for lips, I really... I've been so backed up and I have all of these reds and like deep colors, which are beautiful. This is Venom from Urban Decay. It's a really dark vampy color. This is when I'm just going to like want to keep everything. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to put Lavender Voltage by Maybelline off back here. So maybe I can use it the following week. Just because realistically, I'm not going to do two purple, dark purple lips. This castle from um, NYX might be pretty with that venom, just like as an ombre look to tone it down a little. And oh, guys, look how similar. But I see they're so different. I think I'm going to put my Alme. This is in 400 Lilac Love here. And push the Milani one and this is or this is Maybelline mirrored plum to the following week also oh guys so many lips and then these bite I always use rhubarb I've used this color um Madeira a few times but then there's these other colors this waxy paper gets in the way so badly okay you know what, I have like pinks and reds here, but I have a pink and red here. I think I'm gonna keep the Bite Beauty because I haven't used these. So this is Cranberry and uh, Quince. I think someone said that's how you pronounce it, Quince. So Cranberry is this reddish color, Quince is the more pinkish undertone one. So I'm gonna keep these as my pink and red. So I'm gonna try and use those. And because they are a little more of like a matte finish, I'm going to also put my Selma Hayek, Selma Hayek Nuance Passion in Pink in here also because this is a little bit more moisturizing. And then these reds, I'm just going to push off to the following week. So, 
yeah and I don't limit myself if I want something I'll grab it from somewhere else but you know whatever now what else I have this oh and then nails again I'm backed up my nails are chipping so bad this is Cajun shrimp by OPI I'm actually going to paint my nails next um which colors is it these colors not this blue although it's really pretty do you think I should do this guys no, I'm just going to do this. So I showed this a while ago. Um, Let's Talk and Purple Poodle. Let's Talk is this shinier one from Silver Colors. Purple Poodle is an Orly. So I don't think I'm going to like this as much because this is like a really metallic-y kind of color. But that's what I'm going to do next. And then next week, um, once I'm done with that in a few days, I'm going to use these two. I got these at Big Lots for like $2.50 each, Sephora X. And this is Prudish. Just a really pretty nudie beige color. And the top coat uh, is chaotic. Really cool top coat. So I'm not sure if I'm going to just do like a few accent nails or all of them, but I'll see how that goes. Uh, sometimes if it chips a lot, then I just do the rest of the nails to make it last longer. But so that's what I'm going to do. So that is my makeup drawer, I guess. Um, if you guys want to see something like this at the end of the month, maybe I can do that also. Um because it does kind of just tend to build up. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend. Comment down below what's on your face. Hashtag what's on your face. Let me know what you guys have been loving and hating. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.